What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name's Michael Roman. Last week was an insane news cycle from Marvel Studios between the initial falling out with Sony losing the rights to Spider-Man and then of course the follow of D23 weekend with the reveal of three new shows, some new cast members to familiar franchises and well, altogether new characters, plus the opportunity for a couple of leakers to show what they said was going to come true. And honestly, if you're able to cut through the white noise, two of them hit the nail on the head almost exactly. And we got this covered was quick to point out that a couple of the details that have now come to fruition from one specific leaker may mean that a couple of other details are true as well, including the inclusion of Red Hulk in one of these Disney streaming TV shows. We're going to break down exactly where this report came from, when it came from, and what it says about General Ross showing up as the Red Hulk in the MCU, but first, if you could, grab the subscribe button. We're giving away two PlayStation 4 Pros, as well as a whole slew of other Marvel-related stuff, including copies of Avengers Endgame and Blu-ray and DVD. All you have to do, hit the subscribe button, then hit the notification bell, leave a like and a comment on this video and if you want stick around to the end of the video I'll get into all the giveaway stuff again there so if you've watched the channel for a while you know one of the biggest arguments I laid out back in June of last year is why Red Hulk would eventually show up in the MCU you don't go keeping a character like Thunderbolt Ross around and do it in the way they've done it integrating him into all the most important movies making an appearance in Civil War an appearance in Infinity War and of course the cameo at the end of Avengers Endgame if you don't plan on using his character there's plenty of other characters they could have used or not even included him at all, characters like Happy Hogan not even getting to make their appearance in Infinity War. And I've even joked more than once that Thunderbolt Ross may have actually had more lines in Infinity War than Falcon. Either way, the writers came out and confirmed they were thinking about putting a Red Hulk Easter egg in Avengers Endgame. We also covered that here at the channel recently. I'll link that at the end of this video, where Hulk himself, Bruce Banner, would have turned red when first he put on Tony Stark's nano gauntlet in a confluence of energy between the gamma radiation and the Infinity Stones, meant to be an Easter egg for the Red Hulk, but in the same way they decided not to use the Grey Hulk during Joss Whedon's Age of Ultron, they didn't want to confuse the audience because they're introducing the actual Red Hulk, Thunderbolt Ross, down the road into the MCU. And now thanks to one source, we may know exactly when and where he's going to show up in a couple of years during Disney Streaming Plus. As we got this covered was quick to point out, the original source who said we'd be getting a She-Hulk TV show back in April of last year, guys, this is when Infinity War came out, and said recently we would be getting a Miss Marvel TV show as well, has pegged Thunderbolt Ross Red Hulk to show up during the She-Hulk TV show series. That's where he says he'll make his debut. Now, we still have to take this with a grain of salt as it's not an official Marvel announcement, but if he was able to peg these two other details as well as a ton of others correctly leading up to this introduction of Miss Marvel most recently and knowing about She-Hulk as long back as last April, then there's a good chance he may be involved on some level with these projects and that's a pretty random place to say Red Hulk is going to show up. A lot of people have guessed a lot of things including a Thunderbolts movie, but it could be that they're planning on integrating the character during that TV show and maybe even using him as the main antagonist before they cross them over into the movies as we know they already plan on doing with the WandaVision and Loki TV shows leading into Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments. I feel a little bit vindicated. I've been covering the Red Hulk once every three months, saying that he's going to make an appearance in the MCU, and I truly do believe this would be a great place to introduce him. Also, in the comments, let me know which show you're most excited for, She-Hulk, Miss Marvel, and Moon Knight. Guys, don't write any of these off. You never know which characters they're going to introduce and during whose show. And quickly, let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. All right, we're still giving away two places. PlayStation 4 Pros, the next of which is at the 500,000 subscriber mark. All you have to do, hit the subscribe button, then hit the notification bell, leave a like and a comment on this video, and that'll automatically enter you to win any of the prizes here at the channel, including the copies of Avengers Endgame and Blu-ray and DVD. If you've missed any of the past winner announcements, no worries, I'll link those down in the description below. Again, all you have to do, sub button, notification, like and comment on the video, and the more videos you like and comment on, because it's truly random, the better chance you have of winning. My name's Michael Roman, this is Everything Always, guys, thanks for checking out the channel and stick around. We'll be posting again real, real soon.